Hey, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little quick update on how I'm doing. Uh, there's some improvement. I'm still having a lot of pain, um, but not as much as I was. So I finally gave up and went to the doctor a couple days ago. Uh, because of my age, I'm 67 now, uh, she wanted to run an EKG, make sure I wasn't having any heart issues, and I wasn't. Uh, she also, let's see, ran blood work, and that was all fine. And she did an x-ray to see if maybe I'd, I'd broken a rib uh, when I was lifting all that heavy stuff. I guess sometimes they can just snap, but I hadn't done that either. So what I did do was I overworked like crazy. I was out there a lot of hours and uh, doing a lot of really heavy stuff. So I'm not in that good of shape to do that. So unfortunately what that means is that I pulled these muscles in here and I have a lot of inflammation. And anytime you've got inflammation, that swelling, it hurts. And uh, I'm not able to take anti-inflammatories, at least not very often, because I have a history of bleeding ulcers. But I've taken it a couple times now, and that, I think, helped a little bit. And then I used some salve that uh, Jason made. And there were a lot of healing property in there. We used um, cannabis leaves and uh, broke those down with uh, alcohol. And to that we also added cocoa butter and shea butter. Um, there's turmeric in it. I can't remember all, but just really a lot of, I think some candula, um, a lot of healing things. And so I did put some of that on today, uh, but because it's an oil base, then I had to put like a little towel between my body and my shirt, otherwise my shirt would have got stained. So the doctor said it's going to take about two weeks for this to heal. I'm praying for not much more than one. We're at one week already. Um, but, so I'm just taking it easy. I'm only bringing in wood one stick at a time now. And actually I'm only doing that a couple in the whole day. So I gather the eggs, not cleaning out the chicken house. I, um, I did the floors today but I had Jason move all the chairs for me, so it wouldn't take me quite as long. By the time I was done sweeping the house, because I hadn't swept it since I got injured, and we have two large dogs and two cats in the house, I felt like I'd gathered enough fur off from the floor that I could have made a toy poodle. Maybe one of those teacup chihuahuas. Anyhow, it was way too much. I was glad to get that picked up. But my chest was hurting again, so I had to stop that. And I don't know if I will try to mop or not. It needs mopped, but that's a lot of this motion, and that might be more than I can do. I also was able to empty and reload the dishwasher, and of course I was able to cook. So things are, are continuing on at a much slower pace. And I think the thing that is the hardest for me is that the days are dry. They're in their mid 40s when it gets the warmest. And that's perfect pruning weather where I could be outside and I would love to be doing that. But it's just not gonna work for now. But very soon we'll be back and I'll be more careful. It's hard for me, and maybe 
some of you have the same thing. Once I get started doing something, I don't like to stop. I'm not good at that. I'm not good at stopping to eat. I'm not good at stopping to drink. I'm not good at stopping if I've hurt myself. Like the other day, I'd hurt myself first thing, really. And then I worked many hours after that. Um, so I need to learn. I need to learn that God gives us time to pace ourselves, and he expects us to. Maybe that's part of the reason that I got hurt is that I need to learn that lesson. I'm hoping and praying that I've learned it now. Well, I just wanted to give you a little update. Things are progressing. I hope that things are going good with you. I hope you're well. Hope you're encouraged. So I just want to say, I'm praying blessings on you and yours in your house, out of your house, in the day and the night. Whatever you do, keep dreaming. Good night. God bless you.